Hello! I'm here with Mama Rai, who is hiding behind me. She insisted that we put the blinds on the first floor window Down. first so that our neighbors aren't seeing every single thing Hi. that we are doing. It is a busy day. This is the first day we are moving stuff in. And so we're trying to install blinds. That's the biggest thing. We need privacy. And so we did order some bougie Levelor blinds which by the way guys blinds are hella expensive and then here's just like the beginnings of what we are moving in we are getting a moving company but homegirl's not trying to lose like three thousand dollars and so i am moving all the small stuff and just making them do the big furniture both my mom and i are like panting from going up and down the stairs this is ikea that's very Mommy brought a whole bag of <laughs> curtains because she wants to make sure that we have privacy. <laughs> Even with her uh, broken arm, she's out here doing the most. <laughs> and ripping off the tape from the boxes and reusing it for the front entrance. Okay, here's another one. Try that. And have one more. My mom thinks we're crazy. <laughs> Ta da! Okay, okay. <laughs> Mama Rye right is out here busy <laughs> trying to put these paintings <laughs> so that we can cover this window for now. Oh wow, that's pretty. That's that's all covered, Mom. Nice job. <laughs> So unpack some stuff. My dad kindly put up these blinds for us. So nobody's going to see what we're doing while we're unpacking this big mess. The plan is we're going to go get some lunch because we hungry. We are not in any rush. This house is ours now. So we have plenty of time. Kevin is on night shift, which is why he's not here unpacking with us. He'll probably wake up sometime in the afternoon and then him and I together will try to put up these blinds. Parents have to leave tomorrow because Mama Rai broke her wrist, as you guys know, and so she has to go back to Northern California for her doctor's appointment. Good morning. I am here with Dr. Kevin here, who is our little helper, and we are going to start getting everything packed up and move to the new place. We have a lot of stuff and lots of Home Depot boxes. We've done like a couple loads, but the majority of the stuff is still here and our movers are on a time crunch tomorrow so they only have like two hours so we need to do the thing how are you feeling coming off night shift i'm okay really it's the morning time it's like 2 p.m <laughs> kevin is packing all of our shoes in a trash bag wait did you get all of those ones right yeah really mm -hmm. there's not that many no nice i mean we have your what are your other box of shoes yeah that one's already over there Okay. Oh my god, there's so much stuff. My worst nightmare is packing like kitchen cabinets, like always so crazy. And we're finding a lot of free gifts in the process. Mama Rai is claiming her uh, her festivities. Wine. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin told me that I could, if I could solve this, he would give me, what do you say? What would you give me? You can have a day off. I can have a day off. I literally can't figure it out. I thought it was gonna be like three moves. This is like 50 something. Can you figure it out in 30 seconds? I'll give you 10 bucks. I don't know about 30. I haven't done two by two in Two minutes. Da, 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 da. Can't put the music because it'll we'll get copyrighted till I get to sing it for you. Da, 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 Whoa, baby, it looks like a rainbow. Whoa, so smooth. This is what Kevin yeah. did in his spare time before he started dating me. Right, babe? Don't remember. Don't know. It's not about being worse. Mm, okay. Oh, yeah, I don't remember to get the move to the no. <laughs> Your task is that by the end of so this, no. this move, you have to figure it out. <laughs> I messed up. You need to Google it? So let's flip to the parody. Okay, I'm gonna be here all day. Uh, maybe did I fix it? Yeah, we did it! Good job, Kevin! One ten dollars. Easier. I remember how to solve this. Okay, one. do it. How how fast can you do it? You mix it up, yeah. Okay. I used to take the pieces off because I couldn't figure it out. Were not you like captain or like treasurer? I was. Of the uh, yeah, I was like social media officer of the Rubik's Cube Club. FYI, it's on my college apps. I feel like last 
got removed. We had a Rubik's Cube segment too. Really? I feel like it's the only time we have time to play. I should do more Rubik's Cube. It's good for your brain. It's like surgery. But easier. No, I think surgery is easier. Ding! A ding! So fast! I used to be so much faster before I met you. <laughs> and then you met me and then what? I stopped doing Rubik's Cube stuff. Why? No time and residency. <laughs> so it's in my fault? quarantine. <laughs> I'm so impressed! Oh wow! Good job! Okay, next one. Hi. Are you even packing? My favorite tool. Mm -hmm. It's called the high strength small hole repair. So if you put any holes in the drywall. So we had our uh, vacuum that had to screw into the wall. And? and where is the hole? Yeah, exactly. You can't is. even see the hole. Yeah. It's nowhere to be and found. It's a little bit of a... There, oh but. wait, I can see it on the camera. Oh, wait, no. That's not it. Oh, no, that's just a scratch. <laughs> you cannot see the hole. Good work. Yes. So, if you guys remember clearly last time, <laughs> Kevin is traumatized, but still has decided to put his clothes in trash bags. But what happened last time, honey? You tell me. You tell me? It was you. You, you threw, threw away, away all my clothes. I did or you did? You did. No, you did. You organized them into trash bags. And then you were in charge of like moving <laughs> them to the other location. No, I was the one who thought of the trash bag idea. And then you were the one who executed throwing away all of your clothes because you thought it was trash. The entire car is filled with stuff and I am sitting in like the one last seat that's left over back here but my mom stayed home with a dog like he gets really nervous so I'm really thankful my mom is here so she can comfort him even though her arm is broken nice okay we did it we have Kevin very very much enjoying the new bidet the manua how do you use this and how to use it it was highly recommended by Mama and Papa Rai, so. so wow, this is so what? fancy. Okay, stuff is coming together. We've got some stuff in the living room. I'm probably gonna have the nicest legs on planet Earth after living in this house, to be honest. On the third floor, we have a bunch of stuff that needs to be also organized. We are currently having a conversation about who gets what sink. All right, you may present your argument. Do you want to be next to the toilet or next to the, close to the I shower? I don't think I have a preference, actually. You can pick. I don't know. You're the one who uses the bathroom more. All the plugs are over here. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll take the outer one then. There's a power plug in the middle right here, though. Yeah, I'm just saying. Is there not one over on this side? Last time we had moving... I feel like the last time we had a really big fight was when we moved, and we're getting along really well this time, aren't we? No comment. <laughs> Well, it's just, you know, I feel like one person is like doing all the work and pulling all the weight and the other person is just chilling and I'm gonna need a little support. Everything is very messy right now, but it's it's like systematically messy. Like I know where everything is. And you're gonna blame me later. Like When I can't find it. Damn it, where is this? Where is this? Uh, literally. Packing the kitchen is like my worst nightmare. There's like always so much stuff and I don't even know how to properly pack dishes. We are taking a five minute break. Less than <laughs> Kevin's five priorities are to drink apple cider. <laughs> Kevin thinks we're less motivated for this move because this is such a nice apartment that like we don't feel inclined to move as much, you know? We've been here for like six months, so we've obviously accumulated more junk, so it's a little bit more stressful. I think like the home after this one ha has got to be the dream home. Like I can't move this home anymore. Is pretty dreamy. It's fine. It is very dreamy. That's too many it just doesn't have a two car garage. I mean, I would ideally like four, but. You know, two to spare and two. <laughs> Good morning, it is moving day. I have not been able to sleep good at night for the past many days. And Kev is post night shift. But I guess you got a couple hours of sleep, right? Vicky, I don't know why you are so like... I, I needed to put like labels on everything and make sure it was like well communicated, you know? Like, just feel like... Why would you not be stressed? Okay, so I put... I put labels on everything so that they know where it goes. Like moving is just so stressful. Like I don't want them to break my furniture. I wanted to make it like as easy as possible for them to be able to do their job, you know? It is so amazing how much junk humans accumulate. Like 
There's just so much random stuff. Okay, feeling much more well rested after this nap. I feel like I've been wearing this sweatshirt throughout all of this moving vlog, so clearly I need to change. I'm gonna leave you guys on a time lapse while I try to rearrange the living room because there is a lot going on and it's just like not properly organized and Kevy's on night shift. So it is going to be a one woman team out here tonight. Bam. I didn't wanna have like the movers move this stuff to the right place because First off, they don't know where the right place is, and second off, like, it's already so expensive to get movers. I think it ended up being around $500, so I was not trying to have them stay, like, any longer than they already needed to. I am about to enjoy my very, oh my God, almost set on air. Very first meal in the new house. Of course, I got some soft tofu stew. This is like literally my favorite. Oh, Kevin is at work, so he's got food there. But you and I are gonna have some soft tofu stew in addition to some seafood and cake. Apparently, Butters wants some too. Here's what she looks like. God, I am not really that hungry, but I'm very cold. So soft tofu stew like is almost always a great idea. Soft tofu stew for the win. Cheers guys. I hope we never have to move again in the time that we are in Seattle because it's such a big headache. Good morning, friends. Lots of phone calls this morning, so I have to register all of my appliances for their warranties, um, and I also set up all of the utilities, including light, water, sewage, garbage. I'm about to do gas right now. Because it is a new home, the address is like not registered yet, and so I have to make phone calls instead of just making online accounts. I'm usually the one in our family <laughs> that handles all of the uh, utilities and all the kind of like bills and things like that. Kevin's obviously too busy and lucky, obviously, doesn't care so it's usually my responsibility all right all right i'll set my um uh online account then okay any other questions nope that's it thank you so much okay now i'm registering for like the gas range the microwave all the oven stuff um basically you just go to their website and you fill in this very boring information but it gives you a one-year warranty on the products to make sure that if anything does happen that they will actually be in charge of it 